Where does Sushi Trash come from? I don't know. I think I was just looking for a, for a username and that was like a, a username that wasn't taken. I was like, Sushi Trash? Uh, uh, I thought it was pretty crazy. So I, I went with that. Sub GQ, I'm Joji and these are my essentials. It's just a general like mood lifter sort of thing. I'm a cranky guy, so it's probably placebo, but like at the same time, like it works. So I'll, I'll take it. You know, sometimes you wake up and you just know it's gonna be a shitty day. And then if you know, I'll grab for the wart pack. I should probably take one right now, actually. No, I'm in a good mood, don't worry. I'm not good at swimming, but I hate running. So like, that's always better. At least you're like uh, engulfed in like a liquid. I think I got them at Zara or Bershka, Berksha, or or one of those places to keep my junk and everything like properly like compacted during a swim, and they're light to carry around. Is there a net inside them? Oh no, I think that's the best part. That's what I like about this. There is no net. This might be TMI, but the net can can graze against things. It hurts. So, fellas, don't get board shorts with netting because that'll that'll make a lot of parts red. I always have one of these ready to go. It's the loud pack. It's the honey version though, so I'm not a psychopath. It's got the honey shit on it. They're like Fruit Loops, but like you're lying to yourself a little bit. They're not horrible for you, so they just keep you going and it makes me feel like a child again. I think we all had Ziplocs full of something. This is a little frame that I do carry around with me all the time. I put different people in the frames. We have like this big inspiration to me. I don't know if you guys have heard of him. His name is Blueface. He's a very lyrical rapper. He's, he's very on point. Who are some other people you've had in the frame? We've had we've had Pump in the frame, Tom York, Bon Iver, you know, all all varieties. This is just the juice box. Hopefully I nail it. There's this, there's the apple, and there's the grape. The grape just feels like I'm ingesting way more sugar. Same with strawberry. I went to the deli and I got a strawberry Fanta, and they're very syrupy. Like, there's a big difference between just the berry Fantas and the, the more tropical ones. It's, it's, it's strange. I know I'm boring you guys. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> These are little Thomas the Tank Engine candies. It's Japanese candy. I like it a lot. I bring it around. It's like little, little Thomases that come out of the Thomas. You want to try some of these? They're, they're, uh, they're bad. They're like, it's like if breath mints and chalk, like had a baby, but it was mostly chalk. Like a chalky Pez, but also- A Pez, Pez, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of? That's where it is, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now it's starting to look like I'm just putting on like a healthy, healthy look. I swear, no, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to turn my life around. Um, green superfoods. It's like one full serving of greens and veggies. You put it in the, in the water, it fizzes up, and you just, you don't have to eat vegetables ever again. I think that's better than, than wolfing down broccoli. I actually wrap it in a shirt all the time because I don't have a case for it, but this is actually the first uh, real mic that I ever bought when I was 16. And it's just a USB mic, so it plugs right into the computer. I take it around everywhere to, to record, and it's still alive, look at that. On that, a lot of spit, a lot of disease on the, a lot of tetanus in there. Do you ever do the sock around the mic trick? Sock on the mic works, yeah. I've, I've, I've done sock on the mic, but most of the time I won't put anything on it. Like, I'll just like, just let it pop. This is a, uh, a nose hair trimmer. I actually grew out my nose hairs, like hoping that like I can, I can show you guys. So the inside spins, right? And then you just, do you hear it? You hear that shit being cut? Oh, I can smell the universe. I see a lot of nose hairs out there. Like, let's be pretty again. That's the essential that I take around everywhere because I have, I have fast growing nose hairs. Yeah, be, yeah be, be, be careful with that. I just put up my nose. When I was younger, um, I, I needed to grip something. I'd blow my nose in the morning um, or get a receipt and then I'd, I'd go to school and then after school I'd realize that I had whatever tissue paper or receipt that I started on would be compressed and crunched up in my hand. So I realized I needed to always like hold something in my hand. Like so like this just looks a little more socially acceptable. This is just a cool little thing I found online. I think it was like residue of the fidget spinner movement and like someone like was like trying to like really milk it. 
I appreciate it though. It's like, you can just, you know, go on for hours. I can be quite a messy eater. So I have, I always have a Hanes singlet from Walgreens. If it was like a, like a, a month long tour, I'd probably go through a healthy, you know, 20, 20 to 30, maybe. Not, not, not from food. Like I'm not, I'm not eating that messy. It's just, you know, they get dirty, you know, they get, they get bloody, you know, tough guy shit. These are my headphones that I bring in everywhere with me. They're a little untangled. I don't like these because they kind of like, they don't fit my ear shape. So they, like they'll fall out like immediately. If I had AirPods, that shit would like fall out. Like if someone called my name, I'd just like, they'd all, they just come knocking out. But these ones, if you push them hard enough into your ear, you, you can hear them at good quality. You know, if they're hitting a certain wall. The only thing people are gathering from this is that like, I'm just broke. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching GQ. These were my essentials, the things that I carry around. I hope you enjoyed. I love you. Mm -hmm.